this is Robin and I'm here with Mammy. We're going to do a uh, Christmas snowflake tutorial in red and gold. I'm starting with Buy Me a Drink by Twyla True, my favorite red. It is a dark blood red. And I'm going in with a cherry red acrylic paint. It was this color and I just added one dot of white to it to make just a tiny, tiny bit more cherry red, just so it shows a little bit more. I'm going to go through this with a filigree pattern, but if you wanted to, you could just use stripes or anything that you wanted. I wanted to have two tones of red on this and um, move it across the nail like a wind, like almost like a wind is sweeping through the back end of the nail. And then I'm going to go over the top of it with the snowflakes. And eyes. it's going to look like this. Then I'm going to add one more touch of white so that it's just a little bit more pink and highlight through the middle like that. It's barely going to show, but it's just going to be enough for you to know that this background has been painted. Because sometimes when you um, top coat red and red, you they, they blend into each other and you won't be able to see the wind. And I'm trying to paint wind, so... Or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. What would this be? This would just be like a really elegant filigree behind the whole thing. Okay. Meet you back. Okay, so now, with white and champagne, I mix together a real shiny <clears throat> white. Snowflakes generally have six sides or whatever, but you don't have to stick to the rules with nail art, and that's what I love. And every snowflake can be different. I want you to make them how you think they're pretty. I look online sometimes just to get different ideas of how they're structured and stuff, and then I kind of follow them. But if I go 8, or if I go 12, or if I go whatever, I just figure, you know what? My snowflakes are just special. Dang it. And part of it melted, and that's why it's not perfect. Oops, am I on frame? Just like my videos. <laughs> Slightly imperfect and out of frame. Okay. And a little bit melty. There you go. So, one two, three, and then I'll go dot, 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 and then dot, dot. I'll pull this around the center. And then where I need filler uh, snowflakes, I will just put in a little tiny circle of dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little dot in the middle. And it will look like this. Let me see the other hand. When it's done, I'm going to have it like this, and then I'm going to use a little bit of Reflex Gold. Where is that? AKA Gold Drift. Sometimes it's called Gold Drift, and sometimes it's called Reflex Gold, but it's the same, basically. Well, no, it's exactly the same. And um, wherever you can get this, or if you can go in on it, and I'll buy a whole bunch of you guys buy it together. It did, I think this is like 20 bucks, something like that. But this has left, has actually has lasted me at least 10 years. So anyway, try that, mix it with clear polish, and I'll meet you back. Okay, so now I have just pure white, and I'm just going to dot in on the top, just highlight these snowflakes with white paint, bop, 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 bop. So when they hit the light or whatever, they're just going to look a little bit more 3D. That. And, and you're not going to be, be able to tell really well with this lighting, but you will when I'm finished. Okay, and here is the end result. Let me scroll in, zoom in, and as I zoom in, you'll see that you can see the red now in the background. When I top coated, it kind of blended everything together, but when but when I take pictures for my blog, you'll see it more, more 3D-like, but it really it has a lot of depth to it. Anyway, so there is the end result with the glitter and everything like that. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Show me at my um, links below if you try them. And everybody have a wonderful holiday. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Evil client. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>